Hey everybody, before we get into the newest episode of The Mandalorian, there are two new patron backers, gotta give shoutouts to, both of which are $5 backers, thank you to Cody Roberts, as well as Michael Clark, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, that's awesome, and as always, thank you to all of our patrons, all our subscribers, we just hit 7,200 subscribers, which is crazy awesome, thank you guys so much, now let's jump into episode 4, season 2, of The Mandalorian. Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here, jumping back into The Mandalorian. Season 2, Episode 4, I believe it's called The Siege. But again, this is a title I got from the internet. I haven't watched, watched the episode yet, so I don't know if that's right. Hopefully it is. Well yeah, last week obviously was a big one. Uh, if you watched my reactions, you know I had no idea who Bo-Katan was, uh, but... Uh, the the comment section was very clear that it's a big deal and they actually sent me a bunch of like uh, some people sent me videos of like here's the history of that and uh, you know I found it interesting enough plus it's Katie Sackoff for God's sake she's badass but I went ahead and watched some of those videos and found out you know she's the former leader of the of the planet Mandalore and the, all the Mandalorians and on top of that, she was not lying about the Mandalorian that we know, that he was more or less adopted by Death Watch. If that's not, not the Night Owls, not what Bo-Katan was the leader of, uh, but what became of it after she left or something like that. But you know, that's why she called him a child of the Watch. Uh, so it's very interesting. Uh, apparently we're going to run to run into uh, Akosa or Ahsoka. I'm not sure how to say it yet. But it's the one with the crazy colorful tendrils in the cartoon. Frankly, it was interesting enough. I am considering watching Clone Wars on the channel at some point. Because it seems damn interesting. I like Bo-Katan. Katie Sackhoff is badass. And I don't know who they cast to play Akosa or Asaka or whatever. <laughs> and I apologize. I'm not a huge fan. But I'm getting there because interesting. Interesting as crap. So yeah, that's a huge thing to throw in, but basically a shit to the lore from seasons of a show. And it, it's a cartoon, mind you, so like, I, I'm kind of interested, but not interested. So comments, let me know if I should watch it. Is it that good? Like, I know Obi-Wan gets involved uh, with the goings-on because of Wokatan has a sister named Serene, I believe, who gets killed by Darth Maul, I think, which is messed up. I'm guessing we're not gonna see Darth Maul or Obi-Wan at this point because this is after the events of uh, Return of the Jedi at this point. But bo still alive. She had a, uh, another person, Sabine, right? I'm getting there. Sabine gave was the one that gave her the dark saber. And somehow now, you know, Gus Spring has the dark saber. And I don't remember his name because <laughs> he hasn't been on frequently enough. Uh, but, you know, that's going to be something down the line. Who knows if it's season two, but Bo-Katan and Gus Fring, let's go. I should have said Starbuck and Gus Fring, shouldn't I? Just to keep with the theme of I don't know anything. So yeah, we'll see if they continue with that storyline, especially the one where, you know, maybe Mandalorian and uh, he, they, they named him and I can't remember it again. Sorry. Whatever. Maybe he goes on a mission of discovery of himself, you know what I mean? Because he clearly thinks there's only one way. This is the way kind of thing. And Bo-Katan might have just, you know what I mean? Like, popped his little brain with like, wait a second, there's a different way to, to, to be a Mandalorian and different ways of thinking? Like, maybe he never even considered the idea of that. So that could be interesting if he jumps into that at some point. But he's still on that mission to find Baby Yoda's parents, or at least family, or species, or the Jedi. So we'll see. We'll see what they jump into now, you know, because <laughs> there's a lot going on. Before we get going, make sure you do hit subscribe right down there. Right, I think we just hit 7,200, which is amazing. Thank you guys for the support. Hit like so more people find the channel. I will try to educate myself more on the goings-on of Star Wars. I, like, I know the the cliff notes and the big moments from like the first, the original three, and then somewhat the, the next three, the prequels, which ugh, Hayden Christensen, ugh. And then I did not hate the new three. 
I thought they were fun. And, you know, Adam Driver. Yeah, it hit that. Which makes me also think, because I, I just watched another video about timelines and such. This is 30 years before uh, the first, the, the, the last, no, what was the first one called? The newest trilogy, I can't think. This, not The Rise of Skywalker. The Force Awakens? I think I got it. But are we going to meet any of those characters? Are we going to meet Han Solo? He's clearly doing stuff with Chewbacca ever since the end of Return. Are we going to meet uh, Leia? She's still kicking. She becomes General Leia, I think. So there's certainly a lot of characters we could run into still that are familiar to a wider audience that survived from Return to Force Awakens uh, because that's when this takes place. So. That would be damn interesting and messed up. But yeah, we do Mandalorian at least by Monday after they air. I think they're all going to be on Fridays. But again, they're not fully releasing the schedule. There should be eight episodes, probably all on Fridays. I'll try to get them out as fast as I can, but for sure by Mondays the following. We're also doing His Dark Materials, which just started up season two, which is a badass show. We're also doing This Is Us, which is a lot of fun, but it's going to be super choppy when they come out because of COVID, understandably. But we're also doing Ozark on Friday. So there's a lot of cool shows. Make sure you check them out. Also check out Patreon, patreon.com forward slash JK Calloway. Full reactions to everything we do, including The Mandalorian. If you want to see my uncut thoughts and the entire episode, uh, they'll be up on Patreon as well as the other shows we're doing. Ozark and This Is Us and uh, His Dark Materials. Yeah. Plus we do some exclusive stuff for patrons only. Right now on Saturdays we're doing the show Barry, which is a lot of fun and messed up and delightful. And on Sundays with my nine-year-old, we're doing Stranger Things. We're halfway through season two right now, and he's digging the hell out of it. He doesn't get scared by stuff. I'm freaking out more than he is. And I've seen it. I've seen all of it. He hasn't. But I'm, yeah, he, he's the devil. The Siege, episode four. I hope that's right. We'll find out. But yeah, here we go. Like shit's kicking off, man. Like they're, they're trying to, weave everything together with this story very very interesting and i'm gonna get more invested as it goes so let's do this yay the siege i think i got the wrong episode the first episode of the season or something first or second god It's in good shape. Look at Carl Weathers. Baby, I don't know if you can get a stew going with that. How's my credit around here? I think subject could be arranged, isn't that right, Marshall? I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, and this man do been taking good care of you, huh? Have you been taking good care of him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You're a suspect. I'm surprised to see this place is still standing. Wait till you see inside. What? Is it a school? How about the Corinthian front? Yes. Yeah, how like yeah, that's gonna really keep them focused. Oh no. Don't do it, you'll freak everyone out. <laughs> Magistrate Cargo was generous enough to let me work off my debt. Thank you, by the way. Okay. 350 years, but who's counting? Well, if he runs off on you again, let me know. It's an old Imperial base. It's where all those troops came from when we defeated Moth Gideon. Moff Gideon. I gotta start calling him that, not Gus Fring. If we could take out that one last base, Navarro would be completely safe. We could be a trade anchor for the entire sector. And the planet would finally be free. You said skeleton crew, right? Let's see what that means exactly. Patrols are useless, they're melted. Hold tight. Fly up. Ah! 
It's a mid truck the Marauder. You know how much we can get for this on the black market? And it's gonna get vaporized like the rest of this base. Now let's go. Okay, so there is somebody. The security feed just went down. Can you check your relay hub? Hey, this is <laughs> See ya! Never give up the neck. Hi. Get on the reactor controls during the coolant lines. We'll watch the doors. Me? Yes, you. Move it. Destroy it! Damn it. Well, they didn't think there was information. Clones? Cloning? I thought you said this was a forward operating base. I thought it was. No, this isn't a military operation. This is a lab. It replicated the results of the subsequent trials, which also resulted in catastrophic failures. There were promising effects for an entire form. Same doctor that Baby Yoda had. Sadly, they have exhausted our initial supply of blood. The child is small, and I was only able to harvest a limited amount without killing him. I will not disappoint you again. Moff Gideon. This must be an old transmission. Moff Gideon is dead. No. So what is three days old? I need to get the kid. Jet back. You're faster that way. We'll head to the speeder and meet you in town. Come on, let's go. What are you guys waiting for? You can taste the look blue! cloning i like it looked like a cloning thing like I, one of those videos i watched that someone sent me they were talking about how baby yoda which they've never mentioned uh his species i wondered about that they said they needed the child's blood for something don't know what but what if the child is a clone of yoda you know that'd be fucked up and that might be why they want him back so badly they want their own Yoda uh, to cultivate and to use to their means rather than you know the Jedi let me messed up so it wasn't completely just a side quest side mission type episode there was certainly some new information that is going to play a big role as they get going uh, to the end of season two this is the halfway point so yeah hopefully we see more of bo story and uh, Akosa or Ahsoka, sorry, don't know yet, 
Here's the other thing I'm wondering with that, because they, they mentioned Bo-Katan said, go to this place where the contact name Ahsoka is. I'm just going to say Ahsoka. I'll correct it if, if I find out it's wrong. Uh, but kind of very alien looking, so I wonder how hard they're going to go with that that look, or are they just going to pull a cheap one and just make it a human? You know what I mean? Like, I hope they don't. I, I hope they figure out a way to make that look really cool. Because it is a cool looking character that I've, I've seen. But the cloning thing's very interesting. What were they doing on that base? Uh, I could not tell in like that, that, that scene. Like it just looked like maybe some kind of human hybrid. I couldn't tell, but I guarantee that's gonna be a big plot point going forward. I'm excited to see what that is. Maybe it's the beginning of the first order. You never know. Like I know we met uh, uh, from from the new trilogy. Um, oh my God! What what, was it, what do they call him? I don't know. <laughs> the black guy who was an orphan. That's that's the point I was trying to make. He wasn't a clone like all the stormtroopers were, uh, or majority. He was he was an orphan. Like he was just snatched up by the first order. So maybe it was a mixture of both. Maybe they were cloning soldiers and uh, grabbing, you know, orphans. Uh, maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's the beginning of the First Order. Maybe uh, Moff Gideon is the beginning of the First Order. You know, obviously at this point, this is like 30 years before whatnot. So give or take, it's right around the time right now when Ben Kenobi would be born. Kylo Ren, right? Right, right around that time, as well as Ray. So you know, you're right around that age-ish. So yeah, we'll find out. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Any ideas what the experiments are? I want to keep on calling them clones. That's no guarantee that it is a clone. It just certainly seems like something there would do. They've got a bit of a history. And yeah, we'll jump into episode five next week. Uh, back half of season two, we'll see what uh, they're setting up, but it seems like, you know, Moff Gideon's got some stuff going on with a bunch of, you know, soldiers in the in the black that, you know, uh, they'll be ready and they can track the Mandalorian along with the child now, which is a problem, because, as far as we know, he is now going to the Jedi and Ahsoka, if that's her name. I apologize. Last time I'll get it wrong. So yeah, we'll jump back in next week. Very excited to see what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you next time.